health. And we turn to talk about Bill Zito because immediately earlier today when we were talking about this team, cause you brought up Zito and you really want to sing his praises and there's no argument here. Well, he, he comes to the table with a lot of experience, but a lot of gusto. And I think it took a lot of guts to do what he did. You go back through last year, and everyone's thinking about that Ben Sherratt trade that was made two deadlines ago. And you're thinking, all right, they gave up a first-round pick to Montreal. It was an unprotected pick. And at one point late in the season, it looked like it might be a lottery yes, pick. Yes, indeed. Now, as it turns out, they go and they make that sensational run. But it took a lot of gusto to make that move and to stand up behind that move. Then you think about moving off guys like Huberto and Uyghur who have been mainstays and bringing Kachuk in, getting Kachuk to a long-term deal. You think about the Claude Giroux deal even before that. All of these little things took, uh, you know, a, a lot of moxie to get done. Yet they've worked out at every turn for Bill Zito. So when you think about what's being added now this year, a couple of guys that George talked about on the back end. You got Mikola there. Oliver ekman Larson, I think, is also a pretty good gamble. Kulikov is a known commodity there. You know, you bring a guy with Stolarz who's got a lot of NHL experience uh, to replace the Lion thing. And now you look at Rodriguez, and I think that's the one element, the speed that he brings to the table, a recognition on the part of Zito to say, hey, we've got a big, heavy team. We know we can play that way. We'd like to add that speed element, and so Rodriguez brings that to the table. So, again, just addressing needs and hitting it at every turn, he's done that so far. You have to give credit where credit's due. Kels, when you make decisions, you got to take risks. Not gambles, but risks when you're a GM. You can quantify most everything. I've learned that from you in the game. But what he's talking about, I don't know how to measure gusto, gumption. But boy, does Bill Zito demonstrate it. There's a lot of what Florida showed in the playoffs last season that is not particularly easy to measure, right? Mm -hmm. You don't know what you've got from certain players until you get into those moments and you find out. We had no reason to suspect anything different from Matthew Kachuk, but what we saw was a guy who could elevate his game to oh, literally yes. like top five players in the world the way he was playing in those moments. Bobrovsky played like his old self, and that's great. I love the Rodriguez acquisition. I'm a big fan of Rodriguez. He's, he's got a great one-timer. He's got speed, like you say. Um, he's versatile. I think if you needed him to play down the middle, uh, we know that he can, but I think he's actually really good down the middle at center. My worry... Not, you know, we talked, we, we pumped it all up, right? My worry going into next season mm -hmm. is this is a team that was okay defensively last year. They were okay. And now you're missing a couple of big horses to start the season. Radko Gudis is gone. Gus Forsling has proven to be a very good defenseman. Yes. All right? Josh Mahura, solid elements to his game. Kulikov, he's a jackknife. You can do a little bit of everything. They know what they have, like you said. Known commodity there. I like Riley as a third-pairing defenseman. I think when he's in a third-pairing role, he can be really effective. Ekman Larson, we don't know. We've seen what he can be. He's not that anymore. I think he's better, to your point, than what we saw in Vancouver. Um, but he was still eating big minutes there, and they're going to need him to eat big minutes at least to start. But, you know, Bobrovsky's going to come down a little bit. He has to. And the defense, I think, at least in the beginning, is not going to be quite as good as where it was last year. That'll be something that they'll have to overcome. But if we learned anything... You do not doubt the Florida Panthers. No, you Listen, do what they not. Can do. But hang on, guys. That division is not easy. And yep. when you start to lose ground early in the year, and not to say that they will, but when you're missing those two big guys on the back end at the start of the That's year, big. you start to fall behind early, it's tough to get points back in that division. That's just the simple facts. And, yeah, you can take Bergeron out of the division, and you can say Tampa is aging. You can say Toronto, yeah, they're top-end heavy. All of those things which may be true, are still true, and you do not want to fall behind and give up points early in the year, and they may be subject to doing that because of those key guys being out. Mm -hmm. Because of your baseball roots, I'm going to hit you with it gets late early. It gets late early. <laughs> I like it. In that yes. division. Could happen. A couple teams bubbling up to the top, too, potentially. Yes. So. That's always an intriguing thing, too. The teams that were out the previous yeah. year, very intriguing.